Morning. All right, peeps, let's do this. First things first, uh, my name's Dave and math is the game here. So without further ado, let's uh, solve this clock problem, okay? Thanks for everybody for on Facebook for taking a shot at the problem in the comments. It was great fun for me to watch people try it, make mistakes, try again, laugh at themselves, laugh at their friends. That's really what it's all about. So uh, here we go. Let's see if we can do this thing. <clears throat> all right, so here is the problem. We want to find the angle of clock hands at 113. So step one with any problem that is geometric. This is a geometry problem, a circle problem. We want to draw a picture, step one. So I'm just going to draw a blown up picture of half a circle here. We want to draw our clock hands. So here's 12, 3, 1, 2, Okay, 113. For, for young people who only have seen digital clocks, it's, I, I explained this problem to some uh, high school students and it didn't occur to me that some of them don't even, don't use analog clocks anymore, but at 113 there's going to be a hand here, right? So this is the hour hand. It has to, it's going to move a little bit off one and the minute hand is going to be close to, pretty close to the 15 spot but it's gonna be a little bit off. So I draw a little picture here and say, okay, this, this hour hand went 13, had to move 13 minutes. And this minute hand has got two more minutes to go. There's multiple ways to do this problem, but this is the way I set it up. Okay, now the next step is to determine how many degrees will a hand move for each minute. And that's going to be different for each for each uh, clock hand. So the the minute hand, minute hand, uh, three hundred and sixty degrees for sixty minutes. So this this is one one revolution. The minute has minute hand has to go all the way around for sixty minutes, right? So from that ratio, we get. 360 divided by 60 is 6, so 6 degrees per minute, the minute hand goes. Okay, and then, so that's, that's getting us close here. Now we're going to do the hour hand, similarly, hour hand. Um, we want degrees per minute, right? So it's still 60 minutes, we're going to look at the 60 minutes but now how far does an hour hand go in 60 minutes? It only goes here. So 360 degrees divided by 12, 30 degrees. Minute hand goes 30 degrees in 60 minutes. That's good, so that gives us another ratio here of 0.5 degrees per minute. So the hour hand travels 0.5 degrees every minute. Okay, so those are the two numbers we needed. That makes the problem infinitely easier. Now we go back to our picture. Um, so the way I did this is we can just look at what this, let's determine what this angle is here. So 13 minutes, this is the hour hand again, down here. 13 minutes times 0.5 degrees per minute. The minutes cancel. What's half of 13? 6.5. So that means this pie slice up here is 6.5 degrees. So that's good. Now we got to find this little pie slice here. I'll show you this. Two minutes. So in two minutes, we determined up here for the, this is the minute hand, two minutes, six degrees per minute. You can just write it out. Six degrees per minute times two minutes. Another thing to do too, to think about is when you do this, this is like a unit conversion problem. You wanna, the minutes cancel in this fraction. So you're gonna be left with 12 degrees. Okay, so now what? So we have these little pie slices here. Well, we can just subtract 
these pie slices from the total pie. And that'll tell us this angle, which is what we wanted to find out. So the total pie slice is, is it 60? Each, each pie slice here is 30. So that means it's 60 minus 6.5 minus the, the uh, 12 degrees. Put, put units on, whoops, I'm writing down here off the screen. Put units on everything, so you're clear. And you punch that into a calculator or do some mental math, and you get 41.5 degrees. That's what I'm getting anyway. So, uh, that's it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that, and um, I'm gonna post another problem. We're gonna keep this rolling, okay? Every, every week we'll do one. And uh, feel free to share it. Feel free to give a wrong answer. The most <laughs> best thing to do is make a mistake and make fun of yourself because mistakes happen. And I'll give a shout out to uh, B. Clark who did that. <laughs> I think his was the first first response that he knew that answer. It was uh, whatever it was, 48. And uh, but his clock was working a little differently than everyone else's clock. So good job, B. Clark. He's a uh, I went to engineering school with him. We spent many times, many nights uh, working on problems and banging our heads against the wall. So, all right, I'll see you guys uh, next time. Take care. Bye.